The other thing I'm not happy about is there were central heating pipes that run through here. And running cables like that is a bit of a no-no. They want to be much deeper on the joist. So I'm going to have to drill a hole there, a hole there, a hole there, and then bring me cable round. Not so bad that end. I can kind of live with that. But, no, nah, I'll, I'll drill some holes for this cable running properly. Right, so we'll get the drill out and get that done. <laughs> Well, a bit of a change of plans, actually. I had intended to take today off, and uh, tomorrow, unfortunately, I've got to have two teeth out. And uh, it's on my birthday. How good is that? What a treat. Anyway, um, I've come in today, uh, so I was going to take the day off today, spend a bit of time with the other half. But circumstances are such that we it's just too difficult for us both to do it. So... Um, She's got to do what she's got to do, and uh, I need to carry on with the work. So, looking down into this hole, no, that's not a mud pie. <laughs> what happened was the central, because the chimney breast downstairs, if you imagine it's like that, that's the corner of it, and the central heating pipes all ran down here because there was a back boiler, boiler um, behind the gas fire originally. Anyway, that was all ripped out but it did leave a hole in the ceiling and I was trying to think how I could tackle this. Um, so what I did, I PVA'd around the hole, brushed it all so there's no dust about, gave it a good dollop of PVA and let that soak in. Then I cut a piece of plasterboard to cover the hole, dot and daubed it, and then what I'd got left in the mix, I just piled it on top. So that should set solid. So when I actually come to filling in that hole beneath, at least I've got something solid to push against. That's all been finishing plaster. A uh, couple of days will be able to come back and sand that, I should think. Uh, same there, well, I've got the extra challenge of replacing the skirting board, but I've got a length there. There was a big chunk missing out of it, I don't know if you remember that. Um, so I've built the bottom of the wall up so that I've got enough to stick with no nails on, and then I'll fill afterwards. That should be fine for that. Now, normally I use. Um, well, normally most electricians use rather 35 mil boxes, 35 mil deep, and that's so that you're not having to cram everything into the back of the box. Uh, but because these bricks are so damn hard to chisel at, um, I'm down to 25 mil, which is a little tight, but they will go in. Uh, but I do have to sand around the box afterwards and move the cables around inside so everything fits and it screws up. Uh, so anyway, I've started to splay the wires on that one. Uh, the power's off on the sockets up here, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do that, would I? So, uh, on the old live wires. Yeah, so, just letting those go off. So what, thought, what I'll do, I've got some wall lights that need to, will need to go in downstairs. And uh, as the boards are up here, uh, it would make sense to drop the cables down today. So that's one of the things I've got to do find the right position to him now it's not quite simple as you think if you imagine right this is the chimney breast up here go okay, runs into that corner but downstairs the chimney breast starts there so obviously you know it slopes up under this board I imagine I'm not lifting that board to find out uh, but therefore if you want to put a wall light on one side of the fireplace and a wall light on the other well, it's going to be an interesting route, isn't it? So I think what's got to happen is I've got to drop one cable down and then the split will be downstairs to power up two lights. And I, if, if this was downstairs, I'm going to have to run around like that, around the chimney breast and around the other side, uh, which I can do under 18th regulations. You can run cables like that, as long as they're with, I think it's 150 mil of the ceiling, not coving. Of the ceiling and then of course if you put coving over it covers it anyway but uh, yeah so that's what I'm gonna do so I've only got to drop one cable and then I'll figure out how to join them downstairs <laughs> it's just one of those things unfortunately so uh, probably best to leave myself enough of a hole and then I can do the join and leave the join in the ceiling don't know or so that will run run one lighting cable down to the light fitting then up and then round like that. Maybe that's the way to do it.
but anyway either way i've only got one run cable one what run one cable it's not easy you try run one cable down there and that'll provide me the power for the lights uh, i'll also need to drop a cable down here somewhere for the light switch downstairs all of it as you know all of the lighting sockets everything for this floor all terminate on the landing because i didn't want any joins anywhere so i've got to run a lighting cable there i've got to run a lighting cable for these wall lights over there and then i've also got to run two switch wires so that's four wires that i've got to terminate on the landing and that's only for downstairs upstairs i've still got no pendant so i need to drop a cable for that as well i uh, did a bit more on that wall i found a few dents little dinks and not, nothing major but i thought well i'll get them out while i can see them uh, this is the great thing about doing mist coats you find them and uh, any dust i'm going to create i'm going to leave that until early next week uh, so this place is dust free for a few days be good for me good for my chest and all of that so i'll just concentrate on wiring and uh Yet again, having another good tidy up. The trouble with this kind of work is it, it feels like you'll never get to the end of it. Uh, but you do, and uh, it's just persistent. Persistent, and uh, you know, when you think about it, you know, you should get a whole wall finished, then paint it. Um, I'm not doing that, I'm miscoating all the time. And as it dries out and I come back the next day, I can see all the defects. So, I can take this wall for instance, which came up lovely and white. But then I noticed all these, can you see all that filler I've had to put over this morning? They're only tiny little dents, but they do catch the light, you see, once you've got a mist coat on. Yeah. And then filling gaps down here. I should still use corking, but some of these were quite big gaps. So, uh, yeah, I feel those in. Playing with the skirting. I had quite a gap there, and it took ages to fill that. I think what I might do is, because I'm going to mix up one more go of uh, the bonding plaster, I've got a couple of holes to fill. I'm going to try and fill that one on the skirting, so that goes off, and then I can hit that with a bit of... Um, smoothing plaster and then that'll disappear i'd love to know who did that i mean why why would you do that surely it would have been just easier to just take the cable down the back of the skirt and fix them because these were surface boxes you see you know screwed on why don't they just bring the cable up the back and then just put the surface box on there i don't know they had to chop a big hole in the skirting bar me in there yeah But yes, it is a bit daunting. Uh, but uh, you know, like the other day, I'm just having to do a little bit of everything. See, would that put you off? Go on, be honest. Leave a comment below. <laughs> <laughs> would you lose the will to live? I know Phil would next door. He just wouldn't even contemplate it. He's got more sense. Besides which, his place is done. Yeah, but when you've got a house... I don't know, we worked it out. It's never really had any work done mm, since the 1950s. Not really. It had a bit of a spruce up by the Smiths, who were here before we were, before my family were living in this house. And uh, they did give it a sort of uh, a go over with the anaglypta and chip paper. Cheers for that one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think... There's a good chance I will still have to line this wall, but I'm going to aim to get this the plaster as flat as I can get it at least. So when I do come to line it, you know it's going to it's going to look all right. That's the main thing. Uh, but there are lots of things that were wrong in here. That's for sure. Thank goodness for PVA. Yeah. So I'm not sure what the time is. It feels like it's midday. You got to, it's difficult to tell. It's so overcast today it could be any time uh, but, I, but I think a good clear out in here so I can just concentrate on filling and bits and pieces because I don't really need all these tools up here now so 
realistically they, they can go I'll keep all the decorating type stuff and put that in the other room and then uh, we'll see what we've got left in here uh, so that's it really from Ralph's house today I'm not going to bore you with it <laughs> so uh, thumbs up or thumbs down uh, wish me luck with my two teeth tomorrow oh god um, so I, I have no idea how I'm going to feel like Friday not good I should think uh, so I'm going to try and give myself light duties on Friday the, the worst I'll do is probably sun the skirting in the next door with the electric sander whiz around it just put a coat of primer on it and call it a day for Friday I should just do you know a little bit <laughs> but Thursday no I'm going to sort of sit there and nurse my wounds and dream of eating food which I'm sure I won't be able to do for a couple of days so it'll just be salt water mouth washes yeesh right that's it anyway on a cheerful note uh, like I say leave a comment thumbs up thumbs down and uh, see you in a couple of days oh and don't forget to subscribe